Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, this long division method can also be used to find out square root of a decimal number. But there will be a very slight difference with decimal number. So we will just put our main focus on that difference. And that difference will be in the first step when we place bars over the numbers. So let us take some examples of decimal numbers like 31.36. Let's say you have to find out square root of 31.36 or you have to find square root of 135.61 or you have to find square root of 1635.613. So these are some three varieties of decimal numbers and you have to find their square root. Now I will not do the entire process. What I'll just show is how the first step is different. Now in the first step, that is when you put the bars. Normally what we do, we start putting the bars from the units place. So the units place here also the rule will remain the same for the whole number part of the decimal number because a decimal number has the whole number part on left hand side and the decimal part on the right hand side. Right. So in this case when you place bars for this number, so for the whole number part you place it from the units place like this. So for this number your first bar will be here, your second bar would be here. For this number your first bar would be here your second bar would be here. So whole number part the rule remains the same but for the fractional part we place the bars starting from the digit immediately after the decimal point. So the digit immediately after is 3. So we start placing the bar from this side. So we put 3 6 together. Similarly here we put 6 1 together. Here we start putting the bar from this side. So we put 6 1 together and then we have 3. So there is nothing after 3. So what we do we place a 0 and we put 3 0 together. Why did we place a 0? Because we know that after decimal point whether we have a 0 or we do not have a 0 that do not make any difference. So we have just put a 0 for our convenience so that you know we get two pairs as such. So the important catch here is that in decimal numbers, when you look at the whole number part, we start placing the bar from right hand side, that is from units place towards this side, towards the left hand side. But for the decimal part, we start placing the bar from the digit immediately after the decimal point. So we basically move towards right hand side. So that is the only difference between uh, a decimal number and a whole number with regards to the long division method to find square root. So let us take one example and find its square roots like 31.36. So as I said in the first step we place the bars like this and then again the same process. Let's find a perfect square whose value is less than or equal to 31. So that number would be 5 because 5 square is 25. So 5 into 5 is 25. So let's find the remi remainder. Remainder would be 6. Now what we do? We bring, bring down the next numbers under the bars. So the next numbers are 36. But here you have a decimal point before 36. So what you do? In the quotient you put a decimal point. So that's the only thing you have to do. What about the divisor? You make the divisor twice of the initial divisor. That is 10. And you put a blank here. So what should be present in this blank such that when this is multiplied with the same digit you get something which is less than or equal to 636. Let's try if you put 1 then 101 into 1 is 101 which is less than 636. If you put 2 then it is 204 which is also less than 636. If you put 3 then it is 309 which is also less than 636. If you put 4 then it is 416 which is also less than 636. If you put 5 it is 525 which is less than 636. If you put 6 then it is 636 which is equal to 636. So this is what we were looking for. So we put 6 here, 6 here, you get 636. So therefore square root of 31.36 is equal to 5.6. 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.